Okay, well this is week two of the aquaponics um, trial and um, we'll look at the deep water culture first. You can see these are the seedlings that were put in um, last week. This one was actually a ring-in so um, you, know, you can discount him for the growth purposes but we can see here that the, the rocket has started to grow quite nicely as have um, the lettuce have started to throw a few leaves. Now if we look at their roots here, um, well there's another good example, but you can see just on the side there there's a little bit of root starting to come through. But some of these lettuces have, um, you can see there, are starting to get their roots through those net pots. Um, so they should come along really, really well. The other end of the trial, and I'll put some more seedlings in here, the other end of the trial um, is doing equally as well. Um, I did have one seedling die just here. So I don't know whether that leaf was just damaged um, in the process of planting it, but the others are doing really, really, really well. In fact, this rocket here is really starting to, you know, be its namesake. Um, in the centre here, I've planted some spinach to trial. I've planted some um, pak choy in here and some more lettuces there, So and some more cups to, to come. The gravel garden beds are doing equally as well. As you can see, we've got some um, really lovely growth from the peas and um, since the last one and we've got some really good um, flowering there we've got a couple of pods coming on the peas uh, now and you can see the flowers on this side are just fabulous the silver beet are really powering along um, I've been harvesting silver beet over the last week as are the cabbages and the spinach the one big change since the last um, video is this was my fish tank and you can see a little bit of the waste and stuff in here that I still need to finish off, but this was the fish tank with this set up on top as the raft tank. So that was dismantled um, in the last week, and the fish have now moved to their new home just down here. So why don't we go around and we'll give them their morning feed and see how they're going in their new home. Okay, so here we are at the new fish tank, and I'll just lift the lid. It's got a little bit of weight in it, and just excuse me for a second whilst I pop a thing in there there we are all right so this is the new fish tank and um, in here we have the trout so, um, originally started with 80 I've now got 30 left so um, and most of those died when I had my algal bloom uh, a little earlier on but let's give them a bit of feed because they should be they should be hungry this morning and they should be willing to feed there they go they really quite enjoy their, their morning feeds um, and they do get as you see quite um, energetic at, at their morning feeds so um, Basically the way this works is these two pipes here, um, they're coming in from the grow bed. So this one over here is coming from the uh, deep water culture bed and this one is coming from the gravel grow beds. They will be added to as other beds come online, there'll be other, other um, pipes coming in here. There's room for one more pipe into this tank. But there is actually plan beyond this on the other side is going to be another fish tank. Um, in the middle here is our sump tank and I'll explain that in a second. So you've got the, um, the fish tank, we've got lots of aeration coming in here for, for the fish. Um, we've got a thermometer and overnight the temperature is now 12.2 degrees. Um, it was 13.4 yesterday at the max and 12.2 is the lowest. So it's, um, that's quite a good temperature for trout. They'll, they'll really quite enjoy that. What happens here is the water flows in by gravity from the grow beds. It comes into the tank, it goes down to the bottom and comes up this device here which is a slow um, from the bottom it comes across it actually comes through between the tanks and just over this side and if you excuse the camera moving around so much you'll see that I have my, my sump tank here with um, a couple of pumps running in it I'll explain that where the water coming out there and that thing the sequencing valve uh, next week uh, I should have a little bit more in place to make that a little easier. But in the corner here you'll see there's the water coming in from the fish tank. So that, that's coming in. So basically the flow through the tank, fish tank that we have at the moment is about 2,000 litres an hour um, flows through this fish tank. So which is which is quite good. It means the tank turns over in um, in approximately, um, oh, approximately 30 minutes. And the trout seem to really quite enjoy that. As you can see, what I've used, I've used um, IBCs, so these uh, square caged tanks. And I've put some plastic up just to prevent excess light getting into them at the moment, because they are clear IBCs. But ultimately what's going to happen is they'll actually be um, 
fully encased in timber like this and it'll just continue all the way down down to the bottom on the sides it'll continue down to about one third of the way half of the way and then this soil will actually come back up and they'll form a retaining wall in this area so they should look really quite nice the soil surround and the, and the five, uh, 50 mil timber um, will also insulate quite nicely so it should help uh, moderate any temperature fluctuations and it is already doing that I mean that that thermometer showing that yesterday's max at 13.4 and today's low at 12.2 at is a 1.2 degree temperature swing. Um, when they were up in this tank, which was fully exposed, I was getting temperature swings of closer to five or six degrees um, from day to night. So this 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 will certainly, even without all the soil in, it has already achieved some um, impact of moderating the temperature swing. I don't mind if the temperature goes up or goes down, I just don't want it to swing so much in any particular day period. I'll see if they want any more feed. They've only, only had a little bit this morning and they'll probably come up for more. Uh, they know something unusual is happening. Oh, there they are. They're coming up. If, um, if I leave the tank open for too long, they know something different is happening. It's not just food and they tend to sit at the bottom and wait for the food to come down to them. So, as you can see, it's, it's coming along really nicely. It's kind of hard to see um, into the water and into the bottom at the moment because of the glare. Um, but you can see the fish right down the bottom there. The water looks a little bit uh, murky. It actually isn't. And when the sun comes over and the sun's shining in here as you open the lid, it's, um, it's really quite nice. So anyway, so that's this week's update of the aquaponics system. Um, as I said, I will come back um, next week and we'll revisit the deep water culture bed, we'll revisit the grow beds, um, and I'll explain how the um, sequencing valve is, is working, or the spider valve, and, um, and how that fits into this picture.